Hey guys, time for another review. Henry Weinhard's blonde plugger. Sun's right there in my eyes, so that's why I'm like squinting. So today, my Cody came out, worked on his Honda, but it switched to bypass the uh, the fan because uh, the radar fans never came on. So if you sit there for like half an hour revving it, sea foaming it, it'll overheat. And also flush out the rusty old water. Um, I'd show it to you, but it's just rusty old water. Flush it out, so now it's good. It smells good, smell it. Yeah. what it looks like. Like that. Yep. I only did this so I could, I could show you inside because I feel like cooking. I'm going to get a glass. Anyway, so yeah, it's good. It was like uh, six something for a six pack. It's good. So what else has been going on? I uh, tinkered with my car a bit because the uh, yeah, it's packed full, all right. Because there was too much amp wine, like there was amp wine coming from coming from uh, my my uh, speakers, and uh, it was really annoying. So I guess it was the power cord being too close to my RCAs, and I moved it, and it was fine. The problem was is that uh, uh, something's up. With with the amp I got, the amp I got from a friend Tucker, it's a four channel uh, earthquake. And the problem is, is when I did that, for some reason, like the connectors where the RCAs go is just too thin. On the first channel, it's okay. But on the second channel where the sub is, I think it's the second channel, it's just like the RCAs like barely slide in. And, uh, well, I mean, I mean the opposite. They slide in, but they don't feel like they make a good connection. So it's like it barely puts out any, it's got not getting a good connection, so it's barely putting out any bass. So I hooked it back up, the subwoofer, back to my, uh, power logic. Yeah, that's 140 watt. I look in the book. Actually, the amps or the watts coming from the, the earthquake amp is the same, um, for per channel. Like, so it's pretty much that. The amp I have is really like 300. Um, just less than 300, just shy of 300 um, for two channels, front and rear. Uh, then the power acoustic, that's 140 bridge altogether. Yes, kitty cat. So I'll use that four channel. Just for uh, there we go. Just for speakers, and then I'll use the 140 watt power logic just for sub. At least until I get a really good 400 watt um, or 300 watt amp. Um, I've been trying to model on. There it is over there. Mode. Uh, tore this apart a couple weeks ago. Yes, kitty. I did not tear the kitty cat apart. I uh, took this all apart, put a new rope on it, and sometimes it'll fire right up, but sometimes 
it won't and sometimes you have to pull on it and pull on it and pull on it and pull on it until finally it feels like starting I don't know what the deal is it's weird uh, it might be just some leftover crap left in the carb no there's no filter on there haven't got around to it yet um, yeah so far stuff tastes pretty good I don't know how to describe it it's like A little bitter, but not too bitter. Not bad. Yes. So, I'm gonna see if this thing fires up. And most some more. Oh, I need to dump it. That's right. Yeah, dump it. I'll do the next one. Okay. I'll see if it starts up. This thing's been. I don't know. It's been giving me grief. I thought you said it was. So, let's see. My, my part of the lilac, but it's kind of funky. See, give me a grief. It's been sitting for like five years, too. I always wanted the lilac, but it's taken years for something. I don't know why it's better than last year. See? Is that a gas? No. I like filled it up. Is there another one out here? Yeah. Give it a lawn boy. No, we don't want to side blast all this. We'll have grass all over. The lawn boy is like for off road. Yeah, yeah, I'll make another video on this maybe someday. But as for the Henry Weiser Schneiser, Weinhards, it's good stuff. Great for a sunny day after pushing a lawnmower. See you next time. Eight out of ten, I guess.